Malcolm Johnson and Lisa Simo, and they're going to present to us um, artificial intelligence uses, benefits, and challenges, a study in the Western Cape of South Africa financial services industry. So um, looking forward to your presentation. Uh, free to go ahead. Thanks, thanks, Asad, uh, for the introduction there. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen here. Okay, so welcome to uh, the presentation of this paper titled Artificial Intelligence uh, Uses, Benefits and Challenges, uh, a start in the Western Cape of South Africa financial services industry. So my name uh, is Akuna Vanondoro. Uh, I'm presenting here and um, I want to thank as well uh, Professor Kevin Johnson and Lisa Semia from, uh, we are all from University of Cape Town. They are not here, but they made this paper happen. Okay, so going direct to you know to to the uh to the um to the paper so the purpose of the uh, research was to identify the uses uh perceptions benefits challenges of artificial intelligence uh in the western cape of south africa uh financial services industry so this is what i'm going to be uh, telling you about uh, i'm gonna be uh, i'll speak about you know i'm gonna just give you a quick introduction i'll go into the review of the literature uh, move direction to the research method, uh, then findings, analysis, and discussion, um, then uh, make my conclusion. So an introduction here is, um, look, countries such as uh, China and the United States of America right now, they are chasing, you know, artificial intelligence dominance, um, you know, and they are making that a, a national priority. Okay, oh. so um, in addition to that um, as well, you know, we are seeing uh, that industries from agriculture, tourism, health, manufacturing, they are all using artificial intelligence. Okay, so now what about the financial services industry? Definitely it's not an exception, right? Um, why is it not an exception? Because according to the literature, uh, right now, financial services industry is the best candidate for uh, artificial, uh, for AI uh, application. Why? Why am I saying that? You know, because they do have a uh, lot of structured data, right? Uh, and we know that, right? Uh, I mean, finance, the financial services industry is very strict in terms of how they define how they use their data. Okay, um, and according to a lot of people, you know, uh, they think that financial services industry is the next frontier of uh, AI innovation. You know, and most people also argue that the financial services uh, industry, uh, right now, the enthusiasm there is at, at peak, and uh, the attributes there goes to the uh, you know the cheap uh, computing um, as well as the you know the amount of data that is currently now available to them. So, uh, okay, so what uh, so what next then? Can I, is possible for you just switch the mode. I think it's on presentation mode, so we can't see the slides properly. I'm sorry, man, I didn't want to interrupt you, but yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, what was what was what was the point? Uh, sorry, I um, might have missed it. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I just didn't know I'm going to do, but it's, it's on presentation mode, so it's not showing the slides properly. But otherwise, otherwise, just go ahead. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, no, I can I can quickly fix it. Uh, so which screen are you seeing? Are you seeing uh, the? So I'm just a bit confused. There, are you seeing? Are you seeing the screen with the presentation, or are you seeing the my PowerPoint? Yeah, we're seeing yours. Next slide notes or all of that, but otherwise, in ten inches of time, you have to go ahead. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm very sorry about that. Okay, sorry, I don't know what happened there. I'm very sorry about that. I'm sure you are seeing my second screen now. It's yeah, it's perfect. perfect. It's uh, 100%. Okay, okay I'm very, I'm very sorry about that. Um, okay, so what I was gonna say next is that the um, so okay, I've talked about this, I've talked about the uh, and I've introduced all these things. So, what's the problem? The problem is that we don't have you know, enough literature, you know, to understand exactly what's happening in the financial services industry, okay? So, uh, so this, uh, you know, these are the questions that I'm going to, uh, these are the questions that we covered in the, in the paper. So the first question is, what is the current understanding of AI in the Western Cape of SA financial services industry? The second question is, what are the uses of uh, using AI in the Western Cape of SA financial, uh, financial services industry? The third question is what are the benefits of using AI in the Western Cape of um, in the Western Cape of SA financial services industry? Then the fourth question is what are the challenges of using AI in the Western Cape of SA financial services industry? Okay, 
So uh, in terms of um, um, the literature, so definitely, you know, for us to be able to achieve the purpose of the research, we first, you know, reviewed the literature and this is what we reviewed in the literature. So we looked at the perceptions of AI, uh, the uses of AI in the financial service industry, that is globally, uh, the benefits of AI in the financial service industry, as well as the challenges of AI in the financial service industry, right? Um, then I'm moving uh, to the AI, uh, AI uh, perceptions. Uh, look, so, Right now, uh, I'm sure everyone do agree that uh, there are difficulties in explicitly defining the term AI, right? So why is it difficult? Um, other authors, they think that maybe it's because uh, the technology itself, AI is complex, uh, you know, um, and um, that has been causing issues in terms of coming up with a standard on what exactly is, a, is AI. Um, so we identified four perceptions. Um, I'm not going to go into like one by one of those perceptions, uh, but what I can um, put forward here is that uh, from our perspective and from our background and you know, opinions, we, we believe that um, AI um, are machines with human intelligence uh, that can carry out the task of humans in the provision of services, which makes sense. Why am I saying that? Because if, if I want to get a if I want to get a service from a financial service institute, uh, it's either I'm getting from a person, right? Uh, or I'm getting from a, uh, a machine, which I don't know what is it, right? I go to their, uh, to their, you know, to their interfaces. It can be on my app, it can be, uh, or maybe, you know, going to the, uh, to the ATM or things like that, right? So hence we took the uh, position of using this definition in our paper. Um, Okay, so then uh, this gives us uh, the first question, which I have, you know, already uh, put forward in terms uh, of uh, what are the current perceptions of AI in the Western Cape of SA, financial service industry. Then moving into the uh, uses um, of AI. Uh, so I'm using this diagram just to quickly summarize what the literature had said, right? So look, we are in, we are talking about systems here and this makes sense, right? So we've got a front office, a middle office and a back office. Um, and as you can see there that AI currently is being used throughout the supply chain, right? From payments, banking, uh, insurance, investment management. And you can see the technologies there as well. Chatbots, uh, voice assistants, uh, authentication biometrics, you know, um, like, so for example, on authentication biometrics, you know, the, the literature did say that one can actually make a payment of a service, uh, you know, by uh, looking just at a technology and the technology does that, you know, payment. Uh, in the middle office, you know, there's all the monitoring that is happening there. Uh, in terms of back office, you know, there is all the credit underwriting, right? So from this information, this gave us the research question number two, that is what are the uses of AI in the Western Cape of, uh, Western Cape, um, of South Africa financial service industry? So moving to, so here I do have, I've just, uh, you know, showed um, like all the technologies that are being used currently, like chatbots, also showing the literature that is supporting that, right? Um, you know, so natural language processing, financial identification, everything is there. So this, I'm gonna move now direct to my benefits of AI in the financial service industry. So the first point which I'm gonna make here is regarding the uh, customer experience uh, in marketing, uh, you know, and, mar and marketing excelling. This makes sense. Why am I saying that? Uh, because we can see that, uh, you know, look, if, if I'm interacting with an AI uh, from my perspective and according to the literature, uh, it seems like I'm getting much better service compared to sitting in front of a person, right? As well as the marketing they being referred is to the ability of AI you know, understanding all the relationships that exist in the profile of the user, right? So it can be able to advise in terms of, oh, this person did buy a television, so we need to offer him some insurance or something like that. Uh, so, I mean, if we, if we are doing that, definitely there's some improved efficiency and enhanced financial service quality today. I'm sure we all agree on that. Uh, then uh, the most, I mean, looking at the uh, topic uh, or the theme of this uh, conference, financial inclusion, right? So look, we know that it's difficult for people to get financial services right now, but with AI, we can reach a lot of people, right? This is what the literature is saying, and it's a reality. We can't deny that. So we have more access uh, to offer our services to the people who are not getting those services. 
uh, then, um, you know, just as a point, uh, you know, this is interesting. Um, AI technologies are variable tools for if, if uh, financial service industry firms when implemented for the right reasons and under the right circumstances, not just the sake of implementing AI. If we do it for the right reasons under right circumstances, we will make things we will make we will make things happen for Africa, right? Uh, so I'm going to now state, uh, you know, the point here uh, according to. Everything, uh, uh, everything that I've said, this brought us to the research question number three, that is what are the benefits of AI in the uh, Western Cape of SA financial service industry? So I'm moving now to the challenges of AI in financial service industry. And the first thing which I'm going to uh, say here is regarding uh, you know, training data. Uh, uh, so what is training data? Definitely, uh, you know, we know that for AI to make things happen for us, it needs to be trained very well. It needs good data, it needs structured data, right? Hence, supporting the point which I've mentioned earlier regarding the financial industry being the best candidate because it does have that already in place, right? Um, uh, then going to, you know, biased decision-making uh, here, you know, we can uh, uh, look, even though AI is doing the things for us, but we all know that it is a person writing a machine learning algorithm. We can't deny that. That person can still make a mistake, right? And especially if we are using past data, right? We're gonna make mistakes or we're gonna, look, it's past data. So we need to always be updating data or because now of history and things like that, um, we, we, we making wrong, we're making wrong decisions here because, you know, we. So it's past data plus also plus also uh, this is a human being that is now thinking oh okay I'm gonna make my algorithm if a education level is this or if a woman or something if you know all those kind of things so there is bias and this thing can't really make good decisions it's not a human being right so that's a ch challenge as well there then um going to the black box decision making of those results um I mean, we spoke about this. Uh, I know somebody mentioned about black box decision making results. We don't know. We're just giving data. We're getting the output, right? There's no, uh, you know, like, and what can we understand from this decision that we're getting from the system? Uh, then uh, another challenge, uh, you know, also uh, stated in the literature here is regarding the skills. We need the skills for us to be able to implement what we are doing, what we want to achieve with AI. Okay, so. Uh, here, you know, it's another interesting again point here. Uh, of course, uh, we can speak about AI. We can, you know, we can enjoy AI. But again, most human tasks uh, that are, you know, that we are use, currently using AI, we can't make all the decisions. There are specific complex decisions which still require human judgment, right? Uh, so this brought us to the, uh, the research question number four here. What are the challenges of AI in the Western Cape of SA financial industry? So I'm going to move to research method. I'm not going to speak a lot here. Uh, this is stated no, in point just four. Just, um, just, just aim to conclude. We released a sort of trial in the point. But just, yeah, just conclude with what, what, you're, what you're speaking towards. It's a very interesting so far. Uh, uh, sorry, you're saying? Uh, sorry, I might have missed you there. Uh, no, I, I said we, we've hit the 12 minute mark, so just, just aim to sort of um, uh, conclude uh, and then we'll go into the Q&A, but uh, yeah, uh, obviously finish it. It's very interesting to hear what you're saying, but uh, just, just a heads up. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Uh, okay, so I was saying here, I'm not going to speak a lot about research method, but I'm going to the proof of the participants uh, that I did, you know, uh, that we did interview, 11 of them. So as you can see there, we did interview two types of, uh, actually three types of organi organizational types. We've got the financial service industry firms, we've got uh, service providers, Finitech, uh, uh, you know, uh, FSA firms. Uh, then so I'm gonna move direct to the findings and analysis. Uh, you know, that is the analysis there. So again, uses of AI in the financial service industry. So everything that was in, in, uh, in the literature, we confirmed it with the, uh, with, the, with the research, right? In terms of risk management, automation, decision making, customer engagement, uh, as well as all the benefits which I've mentioned, as well as the challenges that uh, I've, I've mentioned. So going to the, uh, dis uh, to the discussion, um, it is difficult defining the term AI, uh, you know, so there's, um, so one of the, one of the, uh, one of the participants mentioned that is one of those things that are very difficult to define. It, I, like he mentioned there, I was at a conference ago where they have a couple of experts around the world talking about AI and even they differ in their definition of AI. Uh, then, in general, uh, uh, what we saw there is that uh, 
the financial services industry in Western Cape does not fully understand AI. Uh, for example, one of the uh, participants said, I think it's still very early days and people are caught up in the hype, particularly in South Africa. It's all in the design phase, chasing the dragon. Um, going to the uh, AI issues in front office, uh, one of the you know, participants said, a natural language understanding is high. So even from automation to a chatbot to the, to the synergy of live chat and chatbot, uh, in terms of uh, mid office, uh, so that it was so that it, where we could use AI in the mid office to work and should uh, I accept the risk or should I not accept the risk again in the mid office, like what I showed you in the diagram, going to the uh, back office. The back office, the processing is huge. You know, it reaches the need of human intervention, reduces the errors that it gained from. Um, and here, the point which I have here, I think with technology coming out today, it will be an end-to-end -end from receiving that information to fulfilling that service, right? So just to support the idea that. Uh, AI is touching every uh, you know, point in the financial service industry delivery. Uh, so the benefits are improved customer experience, uh, improved decision making, financial inclusion, and the main point here being cost reduction and increased efficiency. Um, then in terms of challenges, integrative trading data, uh, most of the uh, participants, they did agree with the, what Richard was saying, uh, bias in automated decisions as well here, then implemented intelligence and shortages of skills. This was one of the like, biggest themes that uh, came out from our research. Uh, then uh, just concluding, identified conception. Uh, we did identify the conceptions, uh, uses, benefits, and challenges behind the Western Cape uh, of uh, South Africa financial service industry. Uh, you know, they are there. And uh, again, uh, what, I've, what I've mentioned, front office, mid office, and back office, AI is currently being used. Uh, in terms of li limitations, the limited availability of experts to interview, most of the people that we did interview were only, uh, you know, like the financial service industry leaders. They did not have much information that was required for us to get a better understanding in in terms of what AI can do exactly. Uh, I mean, start as well can be expanded to include participants from the economic hub of SA, for example, jo uh, Joan Speck. Uh, I mean, uh, from uh, you know the main researcher with myself, I did, I did like, uh, uh, like much experience there. Maybe I should uh, get more answers, I do not know. But again, something to note in terms of limitations. Uh, going to the future research, uh, look, we, as I've mentioned, skill challenges need to be addressed. That's the reality. We need to do that so that we can achieve our Africa the way we want it to, to be uh, and to be also dominating like the way the other power uh, countries are doing. Then uh, the AI benefit of financial inclusion requires further research, right? So, I mean, we have got how many languages in South Africa? 11 languages. So if we can utilize, for example, natural language processing and get that to help you know this country not this country this continent i'm sure will be great continent right uh and here i want to just end with uh this uh, one of the what the participants said i think financial service industry is going to be affected the hardest this is not just my opinion it's backed up by various financial journals as well as certain as well certain jobs are going to fall away it's not even debatable so the question which i'm posing to all of us in this conference today is what are we gonna do regarding this? Okay, so I've put my references there and thank you very much for giving me extra time here as well. There are my contact details, any questions? Yeah, thanks.